when I was asked to um, be the ambassador of the circuit programme here at the Tate, uh, I obviously read into it and said, of course, because when I was um, a lot younger, I didn't have any access to art galleries. I was from a small village in the middle of nowhere, well, in the Midlands, and it was a different time. So, like, art really wasn't in, it wasn't discussed. It actually gives younger people uh, opportunities and platforms to see art and I think that's the most amazing thing because if I didn't start to discover art galleries I probably wouldn't be or do what I am right now you know so it's kind of um, I think it's so important to be educated in art and culture and society really doesn't um, it doesn't throw it at you you've got to go and find it so um, learning through art and culture and about how other people have lived learning lessons and learning ideas um, kind of shaped the way of me thinking how I wanted to present myself and exist. The idea of living as art, I think, came from uh, Queen Elizabeth um, the first, and she decided, apparently, to dress in a particular way where people would associate her with being otherworldly, being a different type of being. And um, those fashions have progressed throughout time, as you can see here. These ladies are kind of doing a Queen Elizabeth look. I think this was just after she died, so um, the fashions had moved on from her and become kind of mainstream in our aristocracy, that's what I gather. For me, learning that she lived her life like an artwork, you know, her idea, she, it was a PR stunt in a way, like just a medieval PR stunt, that she would dress in these elaborate outfits and no one had ever seen anything like that before. So there were creations and she walked around, people would talk about her and there were all these portraits painted, you know. I think the circuit programmes, um, it's quite amazing. Uh, you know, coming to the later Tate on Fridays once a month, you see the, the calibre of the work that the, the, the programme has created. There's grime kind of music happening and all this, all these great cultural movements from today, but they all relate back to these paintings. So. Um, you know, an idea can turn into a million things and it can turn into like a whole event. So one's, one person's concept of a painting can turn into a whole event for thousands of people. When they do come here, they, I think young people, um, they see the stuff and it, I think it gives them a, you know, I mean, isn't it a great idea to be able to party in this, these beautiful rooms surrounded by beauty? So, you know, I saw some people kind of dancing, but they were kind of, Looking at the photos and paintings and sculptures and um, and learning, I guess, without really thinking about it. So, as a young person walking around galleries years ago, I think my first gallery visit was to the gallery in Birmingham, and I remember seeing pre-Raphaelite um, kind of paintings. I was thinking, I want to look like that. I kind of do look like that underneath this, um, and I became this idea that I had since. So it was really. Art can really influence you as a person or how you think.